Hi there, I hope you are good. Thanks for tuning in to your weekly darts news break in 90 seconds. Every week I will give you an update on what is going on in the progress of Dart Counter and react to what happened on the big stages of the PDC. Now actually today is a very special one because these two subjects, Dart Counter and the PDC are combined. Because as I've mentioned last week, I was going to be at the Premier League in Rotterdam. And to be honest, yeah, actually, this isn't right. I mean, wait. Yes, it was the big orange party in Rotterdam. 10,000 people over there. It was amazing. Here we go, some nice footage of that night. All right, guys. I'm uh, entering the arena in Rotterdam. It's mostly empty yet. But the atmosphere already is very, very good. And to be honest, I'm so extremely excited for tonight. I've been here before like four or five times and you know to have 10,000 crazy orange people around you is the best you can imagine, trust me. So it's like uh, 7 p.m. now, one hour before the start and again I'm so excited. And yeah then the first match had to start, the walk-on of James Wade was already passed and then Peter Wright came on stage. <laughs> It was awesome to see how popular people like Peter Wright are here in the Netherlands. I mean, you can see everything on social media and of course everyone is watching the darts on television. But once you're over there at one of those venues, you can actually feel it. And you can feel it even more when you're in the Netherlands and Michael van Gerwen wins a match. That was the reaction of the crowd to a win of Michael van Gerwen. But, of course, we're in the Netherlands, so Sky Sports said, let's get Raymond van Marneveld on stage. He did, and then this happened. The Barney army in full form. Of course, he doesn't have his level he used to have. He isn't part of the Premier League anymore. But the big appreciation from the crowd. I mean, he is still the five times world champion. And especially here in the Netherlands, a true legend. I went to the venue with my brother. And to be honest, I thought, all right, 10,000 people, 10,000 Dutch people, in my opinion. But all of a sudden, we were sitting there, me and my brother. And at our left side, Belgian people. At our right side, Belgian people and we were like but believe me two things one the Belgian people are sometimes so much nicer than the Dutch people so enthusiastic about the darts and just really really friendly and and very nice and I had a little chat with them and and they told me that the darts became so popular in Belgium in the last let's say one or two years I mean in the Netherlands it became popular in 1998 when Raymond van Barneveld got his first world title, but to see the darts is actually all new in Belgium and people from Belgium traveled to Rotterdam to see the darts live, yeah that's truly amazing. Alright, so that was the Premier League part actually in the Ahor Arena in Rotterdam, but as I've told you guys last week, I also went there for an appointment, a very very important appointment for Dart Counter. Um, I can't say too much about it, but I had an appointment with someone and from now on, from this video on, Every week I will give you guys a teeny tiny hint on what it's about. I will give those hints in the form of pictures. One every week and this is the first one. And it's gone. The first picture, the first hint on what will be new in Dart Counter within a month from now. Please let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any idea where this could go. 
Jason and I, the founders of Dart Counter, will travel to London to the headquarters of Target. Also, within a month from now, to set up everything for this amazing update of the Dart Counter app, please keep an eye on this YouTube channel by subscribing and clicking the notification bell next to it so you won't miss out on any updates. Please leave a little thumbs up to this video if you liked it, share it with your friends. For now, have a nice day and I will see you next time. Cheers!